Support your friends, give them a place to work, and then point and laugh. Yep. Best thing ever. That is not bad. All right, guys, good morning. We're back at the crew cab. I haven't seen this thing in a while. It's actually been sitting here since New Year's, so it's been here for a minute, but uh, battery's dead. I'm gonna fire it up. I gotta bring it out too. This is how this thing works. It sits for a long time, and that's like, all right, let's go to uh, Arizona real quick. So that's what it's gonna do. So I gotta jump back on it because it was dead. We'll see if it starts. This thing is known for being like the most loyal vehicle I own. So we'll see what it does. Oh, jump pack. Oh my God. Ah. All right, so now I actually had to take the battery out of the F100, which is not what I wanted to do. I brought a jump pack and the jump pack was dead. What are the odds? It's funny, I was gonna treat this thing. I was like, oh yeah, I get it 91 today. That was five, uh, five something. I was like, yeah, no, we're good. I'm gonna stick with our nice, cheap 87. So yeah, I'll see how much this takes. That'll be great. Nice. All right, so the crew cab is in here for a bunch of work. You can see we got new wheels and tires. Those are not gonna go on in this video though, so I'm gonna let them sit there and torment you. But we got a bunch of other parts, Dennis Carpenter stuff, Scott Drake stuff, some restoration stuff, oil change, all that good stuff. But we have some West Coast mirrors, which is freaking rad. So I had a set of these a long time ago, sold them, never should have sold them, gave them to the wrong person, I never saw them again. So now we're back with another set. So my good friend Kyle Duffo was nice enough to sell me these. These are gonna look nice right at home on the crew cab. So uh, I do have the bracketry. I'm gonna reuse the hardware that's pretty much right here in the door. I'm gonna pull these out, use these, try to use these same holes. We'll see how many of them actually will hold. And then I'm gonna probably have to drill two new ones for up here, but that's okay because uh, this will look way, way better. So yeah, I'm gonna throw the West Coast mirrors on uh, and then we got a bunch of other goodies. So I'm just gonna start knocking things off the list. Got plenty to do and then I gotta fit a toe bumper on it, which is gonna suck because I have to make everything. So anyways, let's get into it.
tire shop. Yeah, it's a tire shop over here. Tire shop. Franklin's doing big tire things. Yep. And uh, I'm, uh, I put seatbelts in my truck, so I won't die anymore. That's nice. Look at that. Uh, I just don't really like how they like do that. They kind of like limp on the, well, yeah. I'm not really a fan of that. Part. But have seatbelts, safety. It's only taken me like a year and a half of owning this damn thing to do that, but whatever, it's fine. I'm still doing it. But uh, yeah, Franklin has new tires, which is cool. So for the Southwest Classic Truck Show that we're going to, I don't even think I mentioned that earlier. Uh, we're bringing the crew cab and my short bed and Franklin's truck and a bunch of other trucks all the way to Lake Havasu for a really badass show. So we're prepping all these. That's where we're doing all the work for them. So Franklin's gonna mount some new tires because these things are donezo. And then he's mounting some new 37s, which we just brought over there. So he's gonna be running the same setup that I am actually, which is pretty rad. But he actually has like the links and the cool stuff that needs it. I just kind of am a poser and look cool. But his buddy's holding these, so he's gonna be mounting these bad things up. Check out how cool these are. It's a 37-12-5 KR2. Freaking rad. You did this on mine? Oh yeah. You filmed it. I did. Now I get to film you struggle with. Yeah. Favorite, my favorite thing. This is this is great, dude. Oh, uh, this sucks. Ah, support your friends, give them a place to work, and then point and laugh. Yep. Best thing ever. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Oh, I know exactly oh how hard. God. That's why in these tire shops they have a thing that holds the wheel. See how much of a strong, independent whammon you are. Oh, there we go. Just tap it in. Tap it in. Alright, we're gonna play Upside Down Mechanic because I had to have nowhere to put the camera. So, I'm gonna change the oil. And this is. Yeah, I'm Upside Down Mechanic. And this is the same oil that's from Bowling Green and from Dylan McCool's house. So, we will see what it looks like. And if I drop it. Oh no. Oh god. Honestly, that is not bad. This oil ain't bad at all. <laughs> no, it's, it's not bad at all. Like at all at all. Yeah, that makes me feel better. All right, oil has changed. We got our tractor oil in our tractor engine. Nice FO1A in there, as you can see. Got a heat shield product. Oil filter shield, if you guys didn't know, they make these. These things are freaking rad. Put this thing in this, like, over a year ago. Still looks brand new as it always does. It's with the rest of the heat shield product stuff that's in this thing. It's all good stuff, it lasts, that's why we use it. All right, I'm cleaning out these original door cards. These have never been painted, never been cleaned, never been anything. I didn't do any of this. Uh, I didn't even wipe these things down when I built this truck the first time. We didn't have time for any of that stuff. But yeah, look at the difference. Just taking a rag, degreaser, original Wimbledon white door panels and some genius decided to put these ugly speaker holes in and ruin them. So, that's a buzz kill for sure. But I'm gonna get these things all cleaned up. I'm just gonna get the gunk off them. I'm not gonna paint them. I was gonna paint them. It's not worth it. Don't have enough time. So I'm just gonna make them look decent. Okay, so the next thing I gotta do is swap these bumpers out. So I got this one, which I already bent. So you guys saw is junk. I'm gonna put this guy on. This is off of Franklin's truck before it was even a pre-runner, which is pretty sick. But there's no tabs on it because it cut all that stuff off because it was like, I don't know, it was probably done in the 80s and it wasn't really efficient. So I took all that stuff off. I'm gonna get the old one off. And I gotta cut the spare tire mount like this. So there's all sorts of hokey stuff going on here to get this bumper on. These guys torched the back of the frame off, which is stupid. I don't know why they did that. And then you can see it's torched here, and they bent this, and oh, they did all sorts of weird stuff. So I'm gonna finish cutting this off. Okay, well that's, that's off. So now I gotta take these bolts off, and then hopefully this thing will drop down. And then I think the other bolts on the other side, and then it should be it. I don't really know. There's so many added supports and bars on this bumper. You can just see how overkill it is, but it doesn't matter because you can see it. It's not very strong. I already bent it. So yeah. Okay, 
truck officially has no butt. That sucked. That was miserable. Screw whoever cut the back of the frame off the mouth of this stupid thing. Look at this. It's ridiculous. There's just no back to the frame rail. It doesn't connect to the back of the truck. All them out a damn bumper. So that's rad. <laughs> it looks like it has literally no butt. But uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna try to mount this. I'm gonna get this thing squared up with a jack. Try to figure out how I wanna connect the two. This does not look like it's gonna be fun. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to weld something all the way down this, and then all the way down that. I don't know. I'm gonna get creative with it, but if I can just get it on, I'll be happy. There's a right and a wrong way to do this. And it was done the wrong way, so I'm gonna do it the wrong way again, because I don't have enough time to make it the right way. So. I'm gonna slip the same square tube channel in the frame and then I'm gonna tack it. Probably just gonna fully weld it. The back of the frame's cut off already anyways, so I've just accepted the fact that I'm gonna have to remake the back of the truck eventually. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start welding stuff. sucked a lot but it's done and now i can tell something like actually good job craig thanks drink a coke about it why can't we just be like going 30 minutes down the road not five hours away down on the hardware. Got your finger on it. Alright, a little update for you guys. So, we teleported. I now have a trailer. And I got it with the truck and it, the thing didn't fall off. That's nice. It's, it's, we're winning. So, uh, I went ahead and grabbed this thing. It looks like it's 83 in between the fenders. My truck is 83 uh, from tire outside of the tire to tire. So hopefully my F100 fits on this thing. Uh, I'm just gonna test fit it real quick before Damien and, all, and Franklin get up here. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it seems good, it's sturdy, it's not moving. And I drove it all the way down and it seems like everything's good. Uh, the bracing underneath the thing is gnarly. So I, uh, I think we'll be, we'll be all right. You can see all the triangulation down there. I added a lot of tubes. I think I had six tubes down there. So she is strong, she's ready to go. And I know what you guys are thinking. You're probably like, man, Craig talked all this crap about a dude welding the bumper on and then he welded the damn bumper on. Well, that's future Craig's problem, first of all. Second of all, I'm the one that built it. And third, I'm really lazy and I don't really think that bumper is gonna go anywhere for the next like two, three years. So uh, yeah, that's future Craig's problem. <laughs> I didn't have enough time to make a bolt-on bracket, all right? So whatever, either way, it's stronger, it works. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try to put the F100 on and we'll see if it fits.
built that. That's pretty damn cool. <laughs> Man, I wish it was daylight out right now. I get to make my little kid dreams come true. I got a 71 crew cab pulling a 71 short bed. That is so sick. <laughs> Look at the front ends. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, that makes me so happy. That's so freaking cool. They're literally like the same thing. It's like Mini-Me. That's so great. It's Austin Powers, it's Mini-Me. That's so freaking sick. Well, it fits. Good job. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm so happy. Sorry, it's, it's just one of those things I've always wanted to do and I've never been able to see it. So now I see it, I'm like geeking out. This is cool. <laughs> Look at that thing. I got a, I got a crew cap to my, my short bed. That's so freaking rad. I want to do this so many times and I haven't been able to, so I'm freaking hyped. What a childhood dream. That is so awesome. Just got to take that in for a second. Well, hell yeah. So, waiting on Franklin, Damien to show up. Uh, I got Franklin's truck on 37s now. They're gonna load that thing up behind his Dodge and then we're gonna load out of here. So, I'm gonna catch you guys up. I'm gonna strap down, load it up, and uh, we're gonna hit the road because it's already like, I don't know what time is it, like, I think it's eight o'clock. <laughs> we're gonna drive out to Lake Avenue. It's a five hour drive. So, simple math, it's gonna be a late night, but see you guys in a bit. <laughs> I'm loading these things in. Look what the peanut party decided to show up. Dang, look at this guy and his big tires. Big tire guy. Wow. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Yeah, dude, she's thick. She's so thick. Howdy, bitch. Very thick. Very thick. Very thick boy. <laughs> That's nice, chunky boy. Yeah, look at that. Look at that map. Oh, that poor power steering pump does not like 37. Wow. That's nice. That's real nice. Yeah, so he actually drives pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, I actually saw his pickup. It's actually not that slow with 37s. I was gonna say, it can't be that bad. It's not, it's, it's really not that bad. They're heavy, but. It's oh, not they're bad. heavy for sure. It looks meaty. Dude, it's so hard to get those spares in. Oh, yeah. I gotta, I, bet. I gotta for sure notch that gas door in it. Oh, really? Dude, they're like pressed in there. Oh, I had to jump on them to get in there. <laughs> so. Well, hopefully, we don't have to use them. It'll be good. Insane though. It oh, looks so good now. It looks, it looks awesome. so much better. We gotta get some tire shine on them. Oh they just looks proper. It looks very it proper. It's so well. You don't need no fire. Dude, look at that. I don't know if it's gonna rub up there. It, it might looks, rub in the front a little bit. It looks like it's gonna rub. Like the right, back. right there? Even right here too. Yeah. That's future use problem. Hi Frank. Hi Damien. Hi. Hi Craig. Let's do this hard though. Alrighty, we are ready to hit the road. Tester of this thing, seems like it's doing all right. And uh, we're gonna try this out. So we got like a five hour drive in the middle of the night. Never towed with this thing before, so hopefully it does okay. But uh, yeah, it should be fun. Ready to have some fun? Yeah! Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, let's go. All right, middle of the night. First fuel stop, going well. So, uh, seems like this thing is terrible fuel mileage, which I figured, but well, we're making it. Got Franklin over there getting their stuff filled up. And it says we're not gonna be there till like four in the morning, it's 12.30. We still have like three hours and 40 minutes of driving, so. Ah, oh, this is gonna suck. So we're getting on the 10, we're gonna be on the freeway for a minute, and then go out in the middle of absolutely nowhere. I just hope the truck has no issues, so. You ready to drive all night? Yeah, pretty. What you got there? Craig, do you have fingernails? Huh? Do you have Look. fingernails? No, I don't have any I fingernails. I fucking don't. Cra you Frank. Have a knife? Huh? You a knife? No, I don't have anything. I suck. I know. I, 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 bring that camera back here. Can't have none. You want one? No. Not them. You. No. Oh. Ah. You too, man. <laughs> all right, guys. It is 2.39 in the morning. We are at this cool little, like, pull-off. And we still got, let's see, let's see what I'm looking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> oh, the old FVs hanging in there. Look at Frank. Frank's knocked. He's got the dogs out. Frank's got the dogs out today, brother. Man, it's a slumped. I'm so jealous. This truck looks good. Alright, 
stuff for gas. I ran out of, well, basically ran out. I had a little five gallon and it got me to this gas station with the most expensive fuel in the world. That hurts. It's also 4.15 in the morning. Hey, but at least you're paying the same price as diesel. So finally some diesel equality. Yeah, I know, isn't that crazy? All right. Well, we are now looking at a 5.20 ETA. Sunrise. Sunrise. What time is sunrise right now? Five, six. six? Closer to six, yeah. so when we get there. So we'll get there and then poop and then come outside and the sun will be up. Yeah, yeah, and then we can start our day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so today, today is going to be a very long. It's already today. Today never ends. <laughs> it just keeps going. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's horrible. Yeah, the moon is really nice. Very nice. Just take a minute to appreciate these setups. This is the one thing I want to I want to show you guys with, with this entire trip in mind. Just drive your stuff. I'm in the middle of absolute nowhere. Really not the smartest thing to be doing, anyways. Driving. Don't show the. Don't show the. This. this, not that. Yeah, this. Good, good. This. Frank is still knocked out. Got the dogs out and everything. He is just chocolate wasted. Together at last. <laughs> this is cool. All right. I'll see you guys there, baby. Goodbye. Oh. Across the Colorado River. It is currently, well, I'll just show you. 5.52 in the morning. Yeah. Sunrise is coming up. My sleep alarm went off five hours ago. And uh, yeah, you can see the sun's going up. Sick. So we're here, my voice is gone. You can see the eagle has landed. <laughs> Two trucks. We landed, boys. Yeah, so Franklin slept the whole thing with the dogs out because he sucks. <laughs> you're weak. Yeah, killed the monster and then just tanked. Anyways, uh, I probably would have done the same thing. But we're here. How is it? It's going to be fun. So I'm going to pick the video back up tomorrow. With that being said, I hope you guys wanted to enjoy this one. This one's fun. Uh, I just drove this thing like over 300 and something miles in the pitch black through the night. And it worked. And it had zero issues. So I'm super happy and proud of that. Uh, very, very proud of this setup in general. Um, can't say any more good things about it. You know, it's something I built from the ground up. Both of these vehicles sat for 20 years before I owned them. And uh, look at them now. They're being used and... They're gonna put a lot of smiles on a lot of people's faces tomorrow, so I'm excited. So, that being said, I hope you guys wanted to enjoy today's video. Grab your merchandise now at speedcompany.com. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're having some fun with these two. I'm like, have a soup. See you guys.